Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add QR code in WordPress website. So let us begin. Alright, to add the QR code in our WordPress website, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin and here we have to search for Kaya QR code and you will be able to see Kaya QR code generator. So we have to install this. So now we have to click on activate. So now what we have to do, we have to go inside the Kaya studio from here. So let's click on this. And from here we will click on the button QR code generator settings. And inside the settings, as you can see here, that we have the general assistant settings on which we are having the option to display the short code generator assistant to. So we have these different options. And after that, we also have the display the short code generator assistant in these different pages, posts, and the floating elements. And also you can see the other options here as well. Okay. So now we're going to go inside the QR code image settings. So in the image settings, first thing that you can see here that we are having the default color for our QR code image. So which is a black color and the background color for our QR code image is the white color. Okay. So I'm going to keep these default values right now. And after that, we have the short code generator assistant. All right. So this is the short code generated for our QR code image. So if I wanted to use this, I can simply copy this from here. But if I wanted to customize this, I can simply add the title into this. So we're going to add, let's say, web tutorials QR code. And now we're going to change the alignment of our title. So this will be to the center. And after that, we have the option of the content. So in the content, basically, they are asking us to encode the content in our QR code. So if we don't add anything, it will use the current page URL. Okay, so right now I'm going to simply copy the URL of our website and I'll just simply put it here. And you can also see the dynamic content option here. So if you wanted to enable this, you can simply enable this from here. But we don't need to enable this right now. And after this, we are having the anchor tags. We are having the query string. So we're going to simply keep this empty as it is. After that, on the image, we are having image reputation level. So I'm going to increase this to the 30% to the high. And after that, if you wanted to change the size of your image, you can enter your size into the pixels. But I'm going to go here with their default value, whatever it is. And then we have the border width level so we can also increase or decrease the border width level from here the default value is actually 4 so you can also increase and decrease the value from 1 to 10 and after this we have the color and the background color and then we have the image alignment so in the image alignment i would actually make this into the center and also if i wanted to add the shadows to our qr code image i can also check this option from here and we can also see the another option here to remove plugin style from our QR code image but I will keep it like this and after this we have image alternative text okay so I can simply add QR code in it and now after that we have the clickable link okay so on the clickable link what you need to do we can simply add our link here and just put the link here as well and if you wanted to open this on the new window we can simply check this and after this you can see the option of download button so if you wanted to add the download button to download our QR code image, we can simply enable this from here. And from here, what we can do, we can simply add the text here. So I'm going to simply copy this text from here. So I can write down, download our QR code and align this into the center. And now what we're going to do here, you can see here, this is how our QR code preview is looking. Now you can simply copy our short code from here. We can simply copy this from here. Now I can simply jump into the post or the pages uh, to add this short code. So I'm going to go into the pages and click on the, let's say a new page. I have added the title of the page as my website's QR code. Now I'm going to simply add the short code here. And now I'll just simply paste the value here and click on publish. And now I'll just simply click on view page from here. And now you will be able to see our QR code image here with its title and the button as well. Okay. And you can also see this. We are having the shadow here because we have added the shadow into our QR code image. And also it is clickable. So if I just click on this, 
it will redirect us to our website here and this is how the QR code image is working and also I can change the background color and the color of the QR code here so let's go down there and we're gonna have the different colors here so in the color I'm gonna go here with the green color and in the background color I'm gonna go here with the black color now what I would need to do I'm gonna simply copy this short code again and go back to our website here I'll just simply change the value here and click on save again and if I refresh the page from here on our website you will be able to see that we are having different colors on our QR code image so this is how we can add the QR code in our WordPress website so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel